Hi there. In this video, I'm introducing a project called Loot, or Learning Using Texts, which is for learning foreign languages through reading. Loot was inspired by and actually branched off of an older project called Learning with Texts, or LWT, which uh, was being maintained in a community version by a gentleman called Hugo Farah. So thanks very much to those projects. Loot is software that you install and you actually need to set up a web server and a database server uh, on your machine as well for it to work. Uh, if you've ever used or seen LWT before, Loot will look very familiar. As you can see, it's very simple. Let's say that I'm learning Spanish. I could start, and right now there are no languages, so I can create a new one. Uh, there's already some predefined templates, so I'm just going to pick Spanish, and it loads some information here. So. These are the dictionaries that Loot is going to use uh, while I'm reading stuff. And here's some information that Loot uses while it's parsing text. I'll show that in just a moment. So I don't have any text yet, so I can go and I can create a new text. I've zoomed in the text on this screen, so things look a little bit wonky. So I'm going to create a new text for Spanish. Just copy and paste it from something on the internet. I'll just do a single sentence for this text, and I'm going to save it. What Loot does is it parses it and it opens it up. So you can see here are the words for the thing, and all of them are blue because according to Loot, these are words that I don't know yet. I can click on one of these words, and I can come over here and I can enter in some information about that word. So tango in Spanish is I have, and I might say, okay, well, I don't know this one at all. So that might be a new word for me, and, and I might say that it's a verb. So now I'm going to save it. Tango gets updated, and now when I hover over that, uh, you can see some information about that. I can use uh, some keyboard shortcuts here. There are various keyboard shortcuts. And so I might just uh, choose to uh, go over to Gato, which is a cat. Just say that's a cat. I happen to know that one fairly well. And say that's a noun when I save it. Now that I've processed all of this text, because these are terms I've already known, uh, so now I can just set all the rest of them to known. Loot confirms. And that's it for this particular text. So once again, I can hover over these words and see what's up. And so now I might go to and create yet another text. Might be the text that I've copied and pasted from some of the internet. Hola, también tengo un perro. And when I save this, it pops it up. And you can see that Loot has actually carried over the information that I specified in the prior text. So tengo, I defined and I I gave it this translation. Uh, but these are both other words that I don't know yet. So I might come here and I might say that, you know, this uh, perro is a dog. And again, I know this one very well. This is yet another noun. So I can save it. And then when I'm all done, I might set everything once again to known. In a nutshell, that's all that loot is. Um, you read texts and you uh, define vocabulary and Loot keeps track of what you've already learned and what you haven't learned. So now for the installation of Loot. Uh, so once again, Loot is uh, server software, so you need to install uh, PHP and Apache and uh, configure those correctly. There's uh, various notes on the GitHub repo about how to do the installation. So if you're running, for example, a Mac, you could use MAMP as a prepackaged thing which contains PHP, MySQL, and Apache. Uh, the Apache server configuration is uh, also described in the documents. And you can get loot from GitHub. You can either get it from, so here's the repository for it. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, and so there's this release. So you can download this loot release and unzip it on your system and it has all of the dependencies necessary. Or if you're a gearhead, if you're a developer, uh, you can also clone this repo and install all the dependencies using Composer. All of that is described in the documentation. One last piece that you need to do uh, for your setup is you need to tell Loot a, just a little bit about your environment. And so you do that in an, in an env local file, which is in the project root directory. So, um, in my env local file, I've got my application environment to set for prod, and my database is, this is the name of my database here. And here's my host name and my user and my password. When you first install Loot, um, 
if you use the prepackaged database name, uh, then the database is created is called loot demo, and a new database gets created when loot starts up. So this demo DB uh, starts off empty, and you can load some demo data. Demo data. So that's what I'm going to do. Now this demo data has been loaded uh, with some information. So there's some languages defined and some text, etc. There's also a brief tutorial, so you can click on that and it will uh, get you going. Once again, I bumped up the font for my particular installation just for this video. The real font's not this big. This tutorial just talks you through those features which I've just shown you, uh, but it lets you, you can actually try out these things yourself. So you can click on a word and you can create a definition um, and it's a noun. So when you save it, um, everything gets updated. You can also do things like multi-word terms. So for example, there is this phrase, the cat's pajamas. So I just click and hold, and then I drag to the final word in the phrase, and loop pops up the form for the cat's pajamas. So I can say that this is, you know, really super. This arrow here fills in the dictionaries down here. So when I do a lookup, it's looking up the dictionary that I defined in the language. Once again, I can save this as a new term, and then the cat's pajamas gets uh, saved just like a regular term. Uh, parent terms, for example, to have is conjugated as I have or he has, uh, they had in past tense. So I can click on had and it will pop this up and then for a parent I can define have because had is just a conjugation of that. It doesn't make sense to me that it would be treated as a separate at atomic unit. So uh, this is to possess, for example, and I might sort of know this one, and it's a verb. So when I save it, all of them get, so here's have, and then had gets saved, and you can see that it has the parent term also shown in the hover. Yeah, so there's various keyboard shortcuts, as I mentioned before, which you can see here. So for example, if I am on a sentence here, I might ask for the translation for it by clicking capital T, and then uh, Lute opens up this pop-up and does the translation. So right now this is translated from English to Spanish because I had that defined as the dictionary for doing the sentence translations. You can do uh, bulk updates as well, which is sometimes handy. So if I hold down shift and if I click a whole bunch of words, I can hit one, two, three, four, five um, to quickly update the statuses uh, for all of those words. And so now I'm all done this text. So once again, I'm going to click on set all to known and loot will mark all of those words as known. So now if I go on to another text. So here's the follow-up tutorial. And so now you can see that a lot of these words have been marked as known. So words, this was marked as known in the prior thing. And, and you've gets, uh, shows up as a new term. I can create new text as, show, as we uh, looked at before. I can also look at the listing of all of the other texts that I, uh, that I have uh, defined. And so here are the tutorial and the tutorial follow-up, which I created. And you can see over here, there are some stats. So these are the number of unknown words that exist in this particular text. And these are the number of uh, things that I'm learning that are relatively new. These are ones that, I, that I'm starting to understand. And then these uh, show the number of things that I really know very well. You can filter on this list here. Um, I can come back just to all of the texts again. I can also archive texts. So if I archive this text, it just hides it temporarily. I can go um, from the main screen here, I can look at this text archive, and if I want to, I can go, I can ask to uh, unarchive this text. And then, of course, you can delete text, and this is, will just kill everything. Just like with text, I can look at all the text that I have. I can also look at all the terms that I have. So from here, these are all the texts that I have defined. So say I wanted to see all of my Spanish text all of my Spanish terms, rather, that I have, I can see that this is the Spanish term that I had, and if I wanted to take a look at it, I can come here, I can learn a little bit more about it, see some more information, and obviously just keep editing that if I wish. At the bottom, you can click Create New, and this opens up an empty form, so you can say, uh, in Spanish, uh, bien is an adverb. I can update this, and then that saves uh, that term. So those are the basic features of Loot. Uh, this is really a minimum viable product, an MVP, 
that I wanted for myself to use uh, day to day, and I, and I am using it actively with Spanish text. It's working very well. Uh, there, this project was forked off of LWT, and there were some features in LWT that didn't make it into Loot. There's a, quite a long list, actually, of features that didn't make it into Loot, and those are details on GitHub. And I didn't bring them over for a few reasons. Um, one is I didn't think that they were core functionality that was required. Uh, number two, um, I obviously needed to limit scope in order to get this product done and workable for me. And number three is the existing code in LWT was very hard to work with and didn't quite fit within the new architecture of Loot. If any of these things are a deal breaker for you, then you are going to want to use LWT and not Loot. Personally, I, I do recommend Loot because it has the core features that you need in order to start reading and learning in your foreign language. So you might ask, should you actually try Loot or should you use other products? And there are other products out there that do what Loot does. Uh, so for example, um, there's a product called Link, which is a paid product. So you pay a company and then you log into their servers and you read their content. It looks to me like it is a great product. Uh, the only reason I am not using it is because I had certain uh, features that I really want to see that is just are just not in their roadmap. And also I do have some tech experience, so I'm comfortable with setting up my own software. If you are not, absolutely check out Luke, check out Link. It's really, really good. There are various other projects that you can use, like the original LWT project, Hugo Farah's Community Edition of LWT, and FLTR. So there are other things out there. I prefer Loot because for me, it works, it's fast, and it's just nice and light. You can get Loot by going to GitHub. Everything is, is here, and you can uh, download the zip and install it. Configure server. Again, there's documentation that you can check out and then try it out, play with it, see if it works for you. Um, there's uh, documentation which you can find on the main project page uh, here. So, installation and more notes in the documentation. Everything's there, everything's free. Uh, if you run into any issues, then uh, open up a GitHub issue and let me know. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and good luck with your language learning, whatever tool set you happen to use. Thank you. Bye-bye.